guys and welcome to my demo of the Vega Trem VT1 Ultra Trem. So this is a really cool tremolo system uh, with a really clever and unique design. Um, so it not only allows you to use the trem as you would on, on say a standard strat trem where you can dip the bar to drop the pitch of the strings, uh, but you can also pull up on the bar to, to raise the pitch of the strings. Um, and it does all this without the need to permanently modify the guitar so there's no drilling or cutting required into the body of the guitar and there's no need for a locking nut or anything like that so it's literally a straight drop-in replacement for your, your standard tremolo. So for the first part of this video uh, we're going to go through the installation process of fitting one of these tremolos um, so I've never fitted a Vega Trem before, so this is the first time I've ever fitted one of these. Um, so we're going to see how that goes, and then towards the end of the video there will be some more playing clips as well. Okay, so I'm about to fit the Vega Trem to my USA Fender Strat. Um, it currently has uh, another aftermarket tremolo, um, it's a six screw type, um, but we're going to be replacing that. Um, Tool wise, I've just got a few screwdrivers and the Allen keys that um, come with the uh, tremolo. So, yeah, and then I've just got pliers and a string winder for restringing as well. So, firstly, I'm going to remove the springs from the back of the tremolo. <clears throat> And then next, I'm going to remove the six screws that hold this tremolo in place. <clears throat> okay, so there's the old tremolo. I'm going to set that aside. I'm just going to give this a little wipe over. Wipe away any dust. Okay, so the Vega Tram comes in two pieces. So you have this little bar that goes there, and then the tremolo itself will then slot in. I don't know how well you can see that there, but there's two slots either side, and the tremolo has two kind of knife edge kind of points and that slots together and that's where the tremolo will pivot. So firstly we're going to fit this bar piece. So as I said this guitar is a six screw tremolo uh, system um, but the Vega Trem bar piece only has four holes and it comes with the four screws that you need to secure that in place. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've tightened down the screws on the uh, bar piece here. Um, so the next step now is to um, fit the tremolo in place um, and attach the springs on the back of the tremolo. Um, so you get a few different springs in the kit. Um, you get a extra low tension, a low tension, medium tension and high tension pair of springs. Um, I'm going to go with the low tension springs to start with. Um, these are the springs that they recommend if you use 9 gauge strings. Um, I'm using 9.5 gauge strings. Um, so I'm going to start with the low tension, um, see how we get on setting that up. Um, but I might swap to the medium tension if needed. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put the, the tremolo in place here. Drop that in. I'm going to flip the guitar over. So there's two um, little grub screws here which are used for, for clamping the the springs in place um, once you've uh, hooked them on. So I'm going to loosen these up a little bit, make sure I can get the spring in there. 
<clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and attach the two springs. So we got both springs on there. Um, they look okay to me. I'm going to flip the guitar back over. And as you can see, the trim's kind of sitting roughly where it should be. I'm going to move it up slightly. Get the yeah. So there, the the knife edge or knife edges of the uh, trim are now sitting in the little slots. It's dropping out there, but once we get the strings on, that'll pull up then, and we can start setting it up. So I'm going to go ahead and whack the strings on. Um, if we flip it over. I don't know if you can see there, but the this is where the strings will go into the trim. So it's slightly different to uh, your standard sort of trim. Okay, so here we go. All the strings are on, and uh, it's looking really good. So I'll just talk through um, what I've done. Um, after putting the strings on so I strung it up and straight away uh, there was not enough tension on the springs in the back so the bridge was kind of sitting up like this um, all I've done is flip it over and have a look tightened the two screws to add some tension to the springs and flip it back over again and that was just enough to bring it so that the tremolo is sitting parallel with the top of the body um, adjusted the string height slightly um, I haven't given it a proper setup yet so um, I'll do that in a minute but I won't do that on camera just because it'll be boring but one thing to note is that when you make your adjustments to the uh, the string height and also the intonation um, you have to loosen these little screws on the top um, which is pretty cool because like they just hold everything down clamp everything in place once it's all set um, which is a nice little feature so I'd say in total there that probably took um, just under an hour to, to install um, and then probably another 10 20 minutes to, to set up the you know the string height intonation and that kind of thing so it really is a really straightforward um, kind of DIY install um, really really easy to do um, and if you if you're comfortable um, you know setting up your own guitars then I, I would say that um, you, you have no problem installing one of these tremolos <laughs> So yeah, in my opinion, the, the Vega Trem is an absolutely awesome tremolo system. Um, it stays in tune perfectly. Um, it's extremely uh, responsive, uh, very expressive um, tremolo system. Um, it has awesome sustain as well. 
you know, it ticks all of all of the boxes um, that you'd want from from a, a good tremolo system. Um, Vega Trem also do a two screw version um, for guitars that have uh, the more modern style of tremolo with the two posts. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely recommend the Vega Trem uh, to anyone that was looking to upgrade the tremolo system on their Strat or or other guitars.